All right, guys, we're up here. It's uh, late April and we're fishing in Clinton Lake, Kansas. Uh, we've came up here usually this time of year. We have a camp every year and the fish are on the bank. It's normally the spawn, but it's been really cold for the, you know, through April. And so we're actually fishing the pre-spawn. The fish are kind of staged out. They're wanting to hit the banks, but they're still staged out. So I'm gonna take my cousins. I got my cousin Dwayne, my cousin Raul, my cousin Tyler today. I'm gonna take them out. A couple of them have never live scoped before, so we're gonna uh, try that. We're gonna show you guys how we cast at these open water fish, uh, females that's just staging, getting ready to come to the bank. And we'll get out here and see if we can get on a few and put some in the boat. Okay, so what we're doing, we've come out here, like I said, we're hitting some of these suspended fish, but what I'm doing is coming in these cuts or I'm coming in the opening of, a, of some coves and stuff on the main lake. I'm scanning just to see if there's fish in the area. Like these fish are not everywhere, they're staged, but when I first initially look at them, I'm looking in these areas to see if there's fish. You can see some suspended here. I'm seeing some on my side scan. I'll go to that area. I'll start fishing for a little bit. I'll kind of see what the size seems to be on that, in that area, fish for a little bit. If it's not the size that I want, like it is in here, I'll go to a different spot and I'll start hitting it. So it's kind of bouncing around. And when you find those areas that seem to be holding the bigger fish, you know you can sit down and start spending a lot more time and start putting more in the boat. So just kind of a little tip on how, how I'm going about it, even though I'm not scanning for brush or anything like that, I'm, I'm still scanning for fish in different areas before I just sit down and start scoping for no reason. All right guys, gonna do a little review today of what we're using. I'm using the eight foot core handled grip, sitting in the seat, pitching at these fish whenever we get up on them. The guys are standing on both sides of me and I'm running the, I'm running the transducer and letting them throw at them. We're, we're coming up about within 40 feet of them and then starting to throw at them as we move up and usually hitting them within, you know, before we get to 20. Sometimes we'll get on up there if we get closer and I can pitch and catch them too. So 
we're having a blast these fish are active they're staging out here as you can see the bank they're staging out here right before they make their final push up and we're we're hanging some big females look at this i mean right here you can't beat that probably caught a little baby dink oh there you go hey looky there can't beat that dude nope using that, beat that with a there you go using a we're using the acc eighth ounce and then we're putting a split shot right up here above it so we can kind of see it on the scope uh, and it's a little windy so we can get it down there to them so it is working really well yeah <laughs> throw it back. we gotta eat tonight <laughs> I showed you the rod I was using, the eight footer. This is the six six that I had in my boat for my dad. My cousin Dwayne is using it, just paired with a push button spin reel, and uh, it's working really good. He can cast out there. He's catching them on this. What are you using, Roll? Roll using the eight foot super grip, and it's paired with the eighth ounce uh, with a ACC uh, shank bait. So we're kind of using all different all different tackle but just kind of whatever fits you and casting out here to these fish they're not on any structure they're just hanging out out here and without doing this i mean it's literally you can't hardly even catch a fish right now on this lake but we're out here slamming them and we're catching some tanks so we're having fun getting to hang out with my family we're eating good you just can't beat it so let's catch a few more now start up start up start up start up start up boom, boom. oh baby All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. I've had a blast here with my cousin Dwayne, Tyler, and Raul. We have had a blast ripping lips up here in Kansas. Just another right here is one of the tanks we caught. We caught a several of these. But uh, hopefully we've shown you some tips on what we're doing here. Casting and catching these slabs with live scope is one way to utilize you know, your live scope that a lot of guys don't even know that's possible they don't they don't think about it but it is a game changer when you yeah. learn it so anyways had a good time we'll see you guys on the next video we'll have you some more content and see you later yeah we're eating well tonight uh, dang right <laughs>